Hey folks, Jason here, Old Car Guy. Today we are working on Grandma, the 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis. We've got a problem with steering. I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix it. All right, so the problem that we're having is that there is power steering, but it gets to a certain point and it just kind of binds up a little bit and then it frees up again. And it's hard to drive single-handedly. So I'm gonna show you guys what the problem actually is and how we have temporarily fixed it in the past and how we're gonna fix it today. Okay, so you see this steering shaft right down here. Well, it's a little bit of an oddity. It does have a couple of U-joints up here on the right, but down here, it's got this weird something or other down on the bottom, which has a couple of U-joints in it as well. It's a weird looking knuckle. I'll show you on the new one because we are gonna replace that. But before we do that, I want to show you how I've fixed this in the past. Keep in mind, we've owned Grandma for pretty much three years. And I've had to fix this a couple times before, and it's worked. And uh, it's a pretty easy fix. The problem is, is it's gotten to the point now where what I've been doing isn't fixing it temporarily anymore. So we're actually going to replace it uh, with a new part. Uh, but I want to show you what I do to fix this problem. So let's uh, take a look. So the trick is to get some penetrating fluid. We use the uh, Lefty Lucy from Gap Auto Supplies, local company here. And we will spray down each of the U-joints really, really good till the penetrating fluid is just kind of dripping off of it. With a big pry bar, we get it wedged down in each of the U-joints. So one there, uh, there's one or two up here, there's one or two down there, and then uh, this one uh, way up in here that comes out of the steering column. And we whale on it with the BFH. So that loosens up any needle bearings that might be out of place or rusty or allows the penetrating fluid to get down in there. And as you do them, you stop, you give it like a quarter of a turn, and then you do them again. You give another quarter of a turn. You do that till you've got all the way around. And then it usually, every time you spin the wheel, it progressively gets easier and easier to spin that. You can spin it with your finger. And like I said before, uh, the last time we did that, it didn't quite come out of it all the way. So for the price of the part, and I'll leave a link in the description box down below if you guys need to use that part, um, we're just gonna replace it. Uh, it's very simple to do, at least we hope it is. I've never done one, uh, but let me show you the new one. You can get an idea what it looks like. So here's the new part, and you'll see there's a little bit of a bend here. This is the part that goes actually into the steering column U joint. Um, but down here, this is where there's this little double flexible, like everything flexes by itself. So this flexes separately, uh, this flexes separately, and then this piece here uh, flexes separately from itself again. So you've got one, two, three joints in here that can potentially go bad, which is, I believe, what the problem is on the old one. So in order to replace it, there's one bolt down here at the bottom that goes actually into the rack and pinion steering, and then there's another one up on the other U-joints at the top that we take that bolt out and that just slides up into and we tighten it back up. Everything seems like it's fairly accessible, so we shouldn't have too many problems. I'm gonna go spray those bolts down. We'll get started. All right, so we got the 13 millimeter out of the top one, and we got the 10 millimeter out of the bottom one. Now what we've gotta do is get a pry bar underneath that and pry on that little section right there to move that up. It's gonna to be tough because this is all seized up, but we're gonna pry that off of the steering gear, and then we should just be able to do the same thing. Give this a little love tap or two and pull that steering rod out that shaft and then be able to replace everything. So let's uh, get the pry bar and see if we can get that squeezed up. Okay, so we've got the old one out and I showed you how freely this new one's supposed to move this way as well as this way. Here's the old one. I can hold it and it doesn't flop at all. It's got a little bit of movement back and forth that way and virtually almost no movement back and forth this way because it is so rusty and seized up. So this one here, as you can tell, it kind of flops all on its own. So this is what we're gonna replace it with and how this one's gonna go back in in the same fashion. So because the new part is as flimsy and flexible as it is, um, all you gotta do is just kind of drop it down into place on the rack and pinion. It's easier when you got two hands free. But it just uh, slides down there like so. And then up on this end, you just line up your bolt slot, and it is keyed, it only goes in one way, with your upper section of your steering column. And you just 
and push it in and put your bolt into secure. So with two hands, I'm going to uh, turn that steering column a little bit so that it lines up. So let's put those in there and uh, make sure we get everything lined up. All right, so we've got that in. We've got our uh, 13 mil tightened up on this end. And down here, we've got our 10 millimeter tightened up on that end. So we're ready to hop in the car, start it up, and see if we can spin that thing with one finger like we used to be able to. Yep, that was the problem, guys. Glad we got her fixed. So this whole job only took me about maybe 10 or 12 minutes, uh, more than that, because I was recording and explaining to you guys, but uh, if I didn't have to do the recording, could have had that thing in and out of there fairly quickly. The only time you'll ever run into a problem is, like I said, if that joint is completely seized and you can't get any movement on it, you're gonna have to be in there beating and banging and hosing and spraying and everything. Uh, might even have to get out the liquid wrench. But anyways, we got it done. Uh, quick and easy job. Now we can go back to driving grandma, single finger like we always used to. And now you guys know how to do it with just some basic tools. Like I said before, the link is in the description down below. You guys can go check that out on my Amazon affiliate. If you see something that you like elsewhere on Amazon, make sure you go ahead and buy it. Helps out the channel. Also, don't forget about my Spreadshirt store. It is the first link in the description box down below where you can go get yourself some OCG merchandise, whether it be an original OCG logo t-shirt, Dale the Truck, there's others down there, the Focus t-shirts. Hopefully you guys can help support the channel in more ways than just watching these videos by buying some merch. I appreciate you guys, thank you very much. Also, if you want some more great automotive content other than YouTube, make sure you head over to the Get Out and Drive podcast with myself and John, custom car nerd Meyer. Every week we are recording, we're doing lots of things, we're learning lots of things to entertain you guys about car talk. Every other Sunday we're dropping a new episode, so hopefully you can head over to wherever you listen to your podcast and check out Get Out and Drive. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear of your mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon. Oh,